Assalamu alaikum my friends and welcome to the second episode of my vlog the untold story of Tolaja right now i am passing through the main city of Koshab and from here i'll be turning right onto the road that will lead me directly to the valley of Sun's Kesa as i'm turning right you must be observing different shops on my left side well all these shops are very famous for a very special kind of treat that is known as dhoda of kushab it is made out of milk although it is difficult to find the original product these days but i'm sure some of these shops must be offering the real taste from here i will once again be fast forwarding my journey towards sun's kesa and the reason is this road is too long so let's enjoy a quick ride Alhamdulillah, we have made our journey to the mountains of Sun Valley. Hi there. <laughs> so from here on, uh, as you can see on my left side, these plains are basically Kushab Valley. Uh, yes, Kushab is a valley at very footsteps of these mountains. And from here, uh, will be leading to Baba Kachiwala Mazar that is uphill. So let's go. Very unfortunately, I forgot my chest mount back at home. Otherwise, I must have given you a very beautiful and unique log of this journey. But still, I will try and bring you something worth watching. The day is hot, the sun is bright, and the larger fort is at certain height. So let's begin our journey once again. Well, my friends, I'm really very sorry for not being able to capture video where I left the main road and entered onto this track leading to Baba Kachiwala Darbar. And the reason is very obvious. I was being followed by a group of boys that were uh, following very close behind me. Uh, and I was in a fear of losing all my equipment so I just kept on riding now the scenery will start to get more greener for your eyes uh, on my right side especially so let me identify this place onto the map for your convenience My friends, uh, I'm neither a geologist nor a physicist, but still, uh, I'm an explorer. And uh, as per my own observation, this whole geographical region of Sons Kesar is mainly comprised of uh, sedimentary rocks, and then there are mud rocks. Um, there are, and the very scale of this whole region is so huge that it looks as if it came into being in result of Noah's flood. Uh, yes, you may call me lunatic or whatsoever you want to, but if you observe closely, you will yourself, uh, I mean, uh, come to some conclusions that such huge scale of mudslides cannot accumulate over here over the period of some centuries or neons. It looks as if it all came uh, in a result of some catastrophe or some very big event. Uh, it's not something that kept on coming but it's uh, one single event result um, let's go further and I will be showing you some more interesting things in fact uh, there 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 the, that is the Tulaja Peak yeah there it is uh, uh, still still very far away Let's keep on going, keep on riding, and keep on enjoying this uh, off-road track. Well, my friends, uh, I cannot tell you how magical this whole region is. 
uh, I mean, uh, this whole valley is like an encyclopedia. Uh, every inch of it is like another chapter into geology, into environmental sciences, into evolutionary sciences. Um, uh, as I was talking to you earlier, that there are facts and things that may correlate to my hypothesis about the formation of this land. Um, I'm about to stop here and make you observe those things by yourself. Here I am stopping by a coal mine. People that work over here do believe that the coal uh, that get extracted is a form of stone. But as per my own experience, uh, um, the form of coal that is extracted from here is neither anthracite nor lignite. As I said that I am not an authority over uh, the minerals or the fossil, but still uh, I will try to pick some fractions from the ground and make you observe and let you decide what kind of uh, coal form it is. Uh, to me, it looks like a uh, decayed wood, but not fully decayed. In qualification, uh, usually what happens is it takes millions of years uh, to turn the fossil uh, plants and animal fossils to turn into peat and then that peat further get under pressure, turn into coal. But what we are observing over here is an entirely different story. I mean, the wood still retain its structure. Uh, it's uh, easily observable. Let me get closer look and make you observe by yourself. Although an abandoned mine was welcoming me with open doors, but I had yet to reach Tulacha. 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 Tulacha.